breaking news. The Omega Drive has been released and we've got crazy EHAers going insane for them. One in particular named Zach is here and we are going to ask him some questions. But before we begin, if you're new here, my name is Olivia and I love to share all the things. I share about the home, the travel, and of course just our lifestyle here. In this video, you will see the receiving, the installing, thoughts and first impressions of the Omega Drive itself. So with that said, let's begin. First thing I'm gonna do, turn this off by hitting yes. Take these mountain screws off, mount the other one. Instead of reaching all the way on top of the uh, machine, I have easy access right here. Um, with my my right hand, I'm able to turn it on and turn it off just down here. Life is good. Here we go. <laughs> oh shoot, I gotta fix that. And we will be hopping over to Arcade Adam's YouTube to get some help on how to do all this. The first reason I got a Mega Kate is because she let me get a Mega Kate. <laughs> we saw or a video from D. Thomas from NC. He had this Mega Kate, and I wanted a full, well, like everything, all in one package Mega Kate, like arcade system for our rec room. When I saw his video, there were shooters on there, there was fighters, there was Xbox games, PlayStation games, Nintendo games, Wii games, like it had everything in it. Yeah, two years after, I finally was like, all right, we're gonna put our $500 down, talk to Dave at Extreme Home Arcades and get this thing started. I totally would recommend getting one 100%. Dave's um, customer service was by far the best customer service I've had out of any company I've ever had to deal with. He, anything that was wrong with it or anything that um, was uh, I had issues with, he was there for us. First, before I get started, this Megacade is, is not a plug and play arcade system. Um, arcade system, you're gonna have to have a lot of patience. You're gonna have to learn some things. You're gonna have to ask questions. You're gonna have to watch videos. You're gonna have to dive in. You're gonna have to take some time to learn the system. There's a lot of different um, um, aspects on this system where it um, was built differently for each person and each person it's customized to a certain way. There's people who have like eight spinners on here. You, you're gonna have to go into the system and configure it. Most of the stuff will be pre-configured but every once in a while you'll come into a hiccup where um, something just doesn't work. So uh, another th reason why we got this Mega Kid is because of the Extreme Home Arcade Owners Unite. That group has been extremely helpful for anything like diagnosing an issue with my marquee, why it was um, flip-flop. What do you like about the Mega Kid? What I like about the Mega Kid is the big screen that it has here. 50 inches, I mean, it, it fully immerses you into the game. Not all games are gonna be a full widescreen like this. Like, a lot of the classic pretty much scale it down to the square size. I really like the 
the fact that you can customize all the trim, your marquee. I chose to, or we chose to get the static marquee and we got it customized to our liking. My wife was the one who actually made this marquee. A lot of the artwork, um, you can just customize yourself from uh, VLAD or Vlad. He uh, did an awesome job with putting the artwork where I wanted it to be. Like I wanted Dragon Ball Z to do the the Kamehameha uh, with the trackball and I wanted uh, Wolverine to be on this side, the bottom area to have this picture over here. So everything is fully customizable. Uh, he pretty much did a lot of that stuff and I added on to it. It has four players, so I can, I can play with all my brothers or my, or my three kids. I like that you can sync up Xbox controllers. I like the fact that you can um, get these awesome guns from Ray at RPEG Electronics, plug them in, and play shooting games like Time Crisis, Transformers, Aliens, Area 51, uh, a lot of... What's uh, that game when you shoot birds? Duck Hunt. <laughs> yeah, Duck yeah. Hunt. It's got, it's got Duck Hunt. And you got the whole PlayStation 1 wheel. You got uh, a lot of classics. Um, if, if you're into Pac-Man, fighting games, if you're into shooting games, skiing games, um, it, it's got everything. Um, you can add Steam games on here. You can get the Xbox Game Pass and you can play um, a lot of the PC games that are on Game Pass with a $5 subscription. Another thing I like is the LED Blinky. It, it pretty much mimics what is actually in the arcade system and you wanna hit player one coin, you can actually see how it was you can go down to view images and it'll show you how the ar arcade was um, back in when it was made. And there's a lot of screenshots in here. Um, so for example, you could see that player on one turbo is white, the shoot block is red, and the pass and steal is blue. I really like that. I like being able to know which actual buttons I'm supposed to be pressing. What do you like about the Omega Drive? What I like about the Omega Drive is it's just a lot smoother. There's um, a lot of improvements that I've, I saw from Manhattan Project. I had Manhattan Project for about a week and it was kind of buggy to me. And I felt like whenever I put well, this drive in, it was just a lot smoother. Editing things was a lot easier. I was able to find things a whole lot easier. I don't know if they had Mortal Kombat 11 in the Manhattan Project, um, but um, that is one of the games that I was like really excited for. Uh, I don't have it turned up, but you'll hear a little badunk. Um, they call it the badunk. One thing I like about Omega is the ability to have X input on the arcade system. X input is a computer program that changes your controller keys to pretty much send an Xbox code to the system. So it, it acts like an Xbox controller. I'm not sure if that's completely correct. I'm just a noob at this, but um, that's what I'm getting from it. As you can see here on the Xbox controller, it's showing blue, red, yellow, and green. On the actual keyboard here, or control panel, it's showing you the same exact keys. So was there anything different about the marquees with the new Omega Drive? I noticed that scrolling through the wheel, it was just a lot more smoother. Like you can see on the marquee, the Batman collection, I think that's sick. Like the golf games, like if you're into, uh, yeah, that's Adam Sandler. <laughs> if you're into uh, Golden Tea and all that stuff, you can go into here and you can just play all these golf games. The million dollar question, would you buy it again? Yes, I would buy it again. I love this thing. My kids love it. I had a blast. My brother was here on Saturday and we had a blast just playing off-road. I actually want to get another one, like a smaller one. <laughs> How is the build quality? The build quality is pretty good. I don't think he uses um, like real wood. This is all like, I want to say like a compressed plywood. Uh, you want to look inside. I can show you how they did the wiring. The wiring on the control board is really, I think they did a really good job. I'm pretty happy with everything, the artwork. Um, I didn't have any bubbling in my uh, artwork. A lot of people were complaining about the bubbling. I didn't get any of that. So you can see underneath, um, I mean, they have everything just wired up nicely, took their time into zip tie a lot of things and made sure it was just pretty much not a cluster. 
in there. What is your favorite wheel? My favorite wheel is obviously the favorite wheel because I put all my favorites in there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Probably the arcade classics wheel. I like the arcade classics wheel and the PC games wheel. There's a lot of wheels in here that I like. The uh, Techno Parrot wheel, the PlayStation 1 wheel because I grew up on PlayStation. The Visual um, Pinball one is probably one of my favorite ones too just because I like the Stranger Things one in there and the, uh, the Beatles one and the Deadpool one. And then now we are going to play some games and see who can beat who. What was that game that I beat you last time? Like all the time? Dragon Ball, let's play that. <laughs> Like that? Three? 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 Oh my gosh, how do you do that? How do you do that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Wow, this is crazy. 
You gotta hold down the like, there. Turn. <laughs> I don't like this game. I don't like Mario Kart. First time I got it inside there. Oh yeah? Yeah, no, no. Shush. From the bad man? Oh! Ah! <laughs> I don't know. Where's that thing? You're supposed to hit the one with the flashy oh. key. Yeah. Oh gosh. I got one. The red one? Yeah, I got the flashy key. Oh gosh. Give me! Ooh! <laughs> I suck. Um. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to figure this one out. Oh, I got it! Oh, there's oh. one's up there! Shane got the, the Shane's high score. 16,450? Can you put L I V? Time crisis. Okay. Get into the castle and rescue. Man, 
I suck at gold key. We're gonna be going into the PlayStation 1 wheel and playing one of my favorite games, Final Fantasy VII. As you can see, I already have a saved game in here. It saves games just fine, just like a normal PlayStation would. playing it on a Xbox One controller. As you can see, you can add your Netflix account on here and you can watch Netflix movies if you want. Um, it's got a jukebox on here if you want to jam some music. Um, of course, Fight Cade, if you want to uh, play against another person who has a Mega Cade or Game Box or whatever, you can uh, link up and play uh, some fighter games or whatever they have on there. I haven't really used it, but I heard it's pretty fun. All right, we're gonna play some uh, Transformers Human Alliance. thing I like is being able to play all the Wii games like you got the whole entire Wii catalog on here and you can just turn your Wii bar on on top um, turn on your uh, controller and it just works Mario Kart Wii this is it right here <laughs> alright there we go I got my controller working show me as player one working on the screen there. If you want to play two players, you can easily add another one. Just turn it on, get it synced up. Now it shows in the top left corner, we two synced up. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. If you are interested in watching more videos of the Megacade, check out this video right here. This is actually the accessories and the add-ons that we did. There are 16 of them, so check that out. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.
Bye. And don't forget to have a wonderful, beautiful day.